What a question by Beth. This is really good. What happens to the spiritual realm when we speak the word of God? <laughs> I don't know <laughs> well, what I mean by that. Actually, I do in one sense and another, I can't tell. Since it's spiritual, it's invisible, so we can't tell exactly what's happening. I mean, what does a devil look like? He is beautiful and all that. The Bible seems to teach the origins of the devil, and it's controversial a bit, but is uh, found in Isaiah 14 and Ezekiel 28. I think there's really, I think it is a devil there, but it may not be. But regardless, you know, there are angels and there's evil angels, bad angels and such. Long story short, I know I tend to have long stories on this. Um, graphically, we can't tell. We don't have a panoramic, you know, uh, vision of what's happening. In a way, I'd like to have the, the recall, my movie edited, um, of a recall of my life and others and all, like the devil and Jesus in uh, the wilderness. But my life, also, if I go to heaven, I sit in some heavenly theater. This is crazy. I know some people will laugh at this, like, what a joke. But I would love to have replays of the Bible stories and how I love to have, hey, Lord, with some maybe heavenly popcorn or something. Can you show me a replay of how you created everything? And then in my life, I want an edited version because I don't want all my, all my sins to be removed. Oh, I don't want to see them. But I do want to see things like when I did speak to the devil and I knew I had victory because those evil thoughts or those uh, feelings in my body, whether sick or this, just left this like this. So stuff does happen in the spiritual realm. But I'd love to see a replay of that. Like, you know, does I don't think spirits bleed, but I have sort of like a picture form of the word of God being a sword. And Jesus has a sword coming out of his mouth when he comes back, which is the word of God. It's kind of a picture, I think, not a real sword, but a weapon, definitely. And I think demons just, they back off. So I'd love to see that. <laughs> wow, they, they, they were way away from me, didn't they, Lord? Wow, that was power. And it's not my own power. It's greater is he that's in me than he that's in the world. And it's the word of God and his power. Uh, the word of God is powerful sharper than any two-edged sword, it says in Hebrews 4.12. So, you know, what happens, uh, what was this question again exactly? It says, what happens in the spiritual realm, and there is a domain of spiritual realm, whether you believe it or not, when we speak the word of God. So, I mean, um, you know, Jesus acts on that word. So Jesus kind of, when I say the name of Jesus, I believe the presence of Jesus is instantly there in a sense or manifested or whatever, so that he backs up his, his name. Uh, when you speak the word of God, there's power in it. You know, the truth uh, just blasts away and it has some power. And I don't have to know exactly how it happens. See, like, um, like a car. When I get in a car, I don't have to say, well, I'm not going to drive this car unless I know exactly how it's happening. You know, I don't have to have the absolute, absolute mechanics of it. So I don't have to know exactly how it happens. I just know it does happen. I've experienced it. And it's a faith thing as well, at least initially. Faith ends up giving many, many experiences that it really does work. It's very practical and it's very um, pragmatic. So angels, you know, they come. You know, I love to see battles. I'm a guy. I like war movies and all. And, uh, and I, uh, there was a couple awesome books written by Frank Peretti that I read. Um, my younger brother begged me to read it for a long time, and I just don't like novels. I'm not into novels. I mean, you know, once in a while. Boy, I couldn't put these down. I'm so glad he got me hooked in that. And these are way back. Um, was it 80s? Maybe, I don't know. 90s, I don't know. It says, uh, This Present Darkness and piercing the darkness. If you've read those, you know what I'm talking about. Wow, are those cool. And it was an imagination. Uh, it's an imaginary uh, picture form of what was happening with the physical realm. There was a story to be told, a plot, and then the present darkness of new age and, and occultism and everything. And a very well-written book, awesome bestseller and everything. And then there's a the spiritual realm and he, he graphically tells what they could look like. I mean, it's totally imagination and speculation. Um, as far as I know, you know, but, uh, and then to see the, uh, that realm in action. See, God wants us to walk by faith. He deliberately chose that. And, uh, but she also goes on and asks to not only the devil, but also the flesh. 
I'm not sure exactly how the word of God does it with the flesh. I'm more aware to me of the demons just backing off and leaving because I've experienced that. I've experienced the demonic spirits with evil thoughts or something coming at my body, literally inside and all that. I've experienced this stuff. It just vanished. They just went over and over and over. I've experienced that. Really cool stuff. But the flesh, when I speak the word of God, I think what it is, I think, I think I'll do a video on this. I'll do another video that she, she, she uh, happened to mention. And I was thinking I'll do a video. So it's kind of a mixture of her and my uh, thoughts here together. And that is how, what is it, what's the difference between the spirit and the flesh? Well, I mean, demon and flesh. How do you know which is which? We'll do that next. But the fact is, the word of God, actually, when I, when the body responds and my flesh responds to what I think about. Your mind is very, very important. That's where the thought life is so important. And when, I, when I'm speaking the word of God, it maybe helps settle down my flesh, if I can say, the, the self-nature and lower nature and also the body and all that, so that it, it becomes uh, less active in sin. It becomes neutralized, if you will. It gets back up on the cross <laughs> or something. So anyway, really good question. I hope you enjoyed this. I enjoyed talking about it. God bless. Bye.